Depending on the size of flake I want to produce, that's the size of hammerstone I'll use, right? Um, so to produce a flake of this size, I would actually use a much larger hammerstone, right? Um, when I get into the finer detailing with a hard hammer, I'll use something that's considerably smaller, right? And you'll notice that the hammer stone I used was about the same size as the flake I produced. And basically all I'm doing is I'm taking my hammer stone and I'm just dropping it and I'm guiding it with my hand. I'm not swinging it at all. That, it's, if the hard, that way I can control the type of flakes I'm producing because I know this hammer stone will produce flakes about this big. I could swing this a lot harder and make larger flakes, but it's not as predictable. So I like to keep things as predictable as possible. So that's why I always switch, switch up my tools. The stones are, it could be any stream cobble. Uh, it has to be hard enough so it won't shatter when you're hitting it. So uh, I prefer uh, quartzite. These stones are um, actually uh, gray wacky from Manitoba. It's a durable uh, Precambrian uh, uh, sedimentary rock.